वेलकम बैक टू केमिस्ट्री कॉन्सेप्ट लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट इक्वीवेलेंट मास ओके सो दिस अ फॉर्मूला ऑफ इक्वीवेलेंट मास इक्वीवेलेंट मास इज एक्चुअली यू कैन से मोलर मास डिवाइडेड बाय एन फैक्टर फाइन ना वॉट इज दिस एन फैक्टर द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट दिस एन फैक्टर इफ वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग मोलर मास ऑफ एन एलिमेंट देन एन फैक्टर इज इट्स वैलेंसी इफ वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग एन फैक्टर ऑफ एन एसिड देन एन फैक्ट देन इट इज नंबर ऑफ replaceable hydrogen ions that is base city of acid if we are calculating for a base then it is number of replaceable hydroxide ions that is acidity if we are calculating for a salt then n factor is number of electrons transferred now let's have a look at uh, the n factor of naoh it's a base and its basicity is its acidity is 1 so n factor is 1 so equivalent mass would be the molar mass that is 40 divided by equi uh, n factor which is 1 here so equivalent mass here is equal to molar mass that is 1 okay Now let's have a look at equivalent mass of let's say HCl. Again, n factor is one here, so, and the molar mass is thirty-six point five divided by. It's an acid. Replaceable hydrogen is only one, so we have to divide by one here also. Okay, and if we are calculating for NaCl. And uh, uh, the n factor would be molar mass of n uh, equivalent mass would be molar mass of NaCl by n factor. N factor it's a salt, and there is transfer of one electron from sodium to chloride. So here n factor would be one. So again here the equivalent mass would be equal to its molar mass. But if we are talking about MgOH whole twice, here there are two replaceable OH negative ions. Fine. So in this case, n factor would be two, and we have to divide the molar mass with two to find out the equivalent mass. Hope the concept of equivalent mass is clear to you. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos of organic, inorganic, and physical chemistry. Thank you.